today we're going to do something off a little bit different here. Uh, not really different, but something that I've come up with that makes autocrafting a bit of a uh, <laughs> crazy thing to look at. So here I have my uh, own fastest possible block crafter behind me. Originally this is what it looked like. Let's get this uh, here. Once we paste it, it'll be good. So this is the crafter itself. That is back there. We have two of these actually. So we total 18,000 uh, output an hour with this contraption here. Now it's un only for blocks that require a 3x3 three three of the same thing. So like uh, iron blocks, gold blocks, coal blocks, stuff like that. That is only a 3x3 three three, um, within the crafting table here of the same item. So everything here is the same item and you get one block output. So uh, yeah, basically let's just uh, fill this up with, we'll do gold again. That's what I have currently in the system. So we'll just throw all this uh, gold in here. So the reason why this is the fastest possible thing, Crafter, is because we have uh, five droppers, not four. There is a fifth one on top here. So with this, this allows us to get nine items within two ticks or two observer ticks here. So uh, that's the fastest you could do. If you did four, you would do four plus four is eight. There's only one left over, so you need to wait for the next cycle there to get the last item in here. With this one, you get five on the first one and then four on the last one. And then, yeah, it makes it the fastest possible you can ever do because the observer clock is as fast as you can tick these droppers. So uh, yeah, let's look at an action. One downside is um, when you turn it on and off, the um, the first item will come through and I'll go to here and turn it off. The crafting table is empty because you can see there is no hopper locking besides this one dust right here. That is the only re way that uh, was able to lock it. If you have a torch here with the block, it doesn't lock the hopper. Well, it locks the hopper, but it won't unlock because the uh, observer tick is too quick for the torch to handle. You can show that by putting this on the side here. This torch will never turn off, basically, is what I'm going to say. So turn it on. You can see that the torch will never turn off because it has a two tick or two game tick delay, I believe. So you can see that not turning off, even though it's getting constantly powered. But yeah, so let's go to the output. Let's actually go to the crafting table first. You can see that is not tick warped. We are regular 20 ticks per second here. This is the fastest you could ever do with a single crafting table. And also happens out that the copper is 9,000 items per hour. You can handle 9,000 items per hour. And we produce exactly 9,000 blocks per hour. So, the fastest possible we could ever do with a single crafting table here. And yeah. So, probably hopper speed. Obviously, like I said, the one where you turn it on, you will get one item just because of the delay here. Um, before the hopper locking kicks in, the hopper still unlocked before the ticking happens here uh, unfortunately so that will come through and then like i said once you turn it off you will see crafting table does get emptied so whatever is left over whether it's stuff that can craft with the items that are left over so you can get, have a combination of five or four left in the crafting recipe and the certain item you could get you know pressure plates gold ingots whatever it can, the items can crafted but yeah, just in that short amount of time, we got basically two and a half stacks of blocks uh, with this crafting, uh, crafting system here. So the one downside to the system is that every single dropper will need a 2x uh, input to it, or else it would run out of items. So yeah, this is the old UI that I used to have. Not very, you know, <laughs> good in a sense. It was just there. But we have updated it to this one, and we also added two uh, crafters in here. And it's only 10 wide, I believe. Yep, only 10 blocks wide. Now it is quite tall, but honestly, for what it does, I think it's pretty good. So yeah, let's break it down here, what we got feature-wise. So our input is right here, center chest. Uh, shulker box input, of course, so just the regular blocks. For the regular items you would put in, we have a actual shulker box input. And this is the shulker box return. So if you don't have shulker box stacking, this is how your output would look like. 
for the return shulker boxes of the items you, items you put into here. That'll be your return on the sides here, so you have four double chests. So roughly about 200 some shulkers if you don't have that stacking shulker boxes on, which is quite good since the input is only 54. You can wait obviously till it empties. It is it does look like it's 2x, but it's just 1x because we only have the one dropper vader here. Because we couldn't really fit the other one uh, within the <laughs> requirements here. Uh, but yeah, so we have an on off uh, lamp indicator for the lock in of the uh, mine for distribution here. So what we do is we have one input, but we have 10 uh, areas we need to fill. So we do a 1 to 10 splitter basically. So we have uh, the input go up to the elevator here, and then let's actually get some shulker boxes and show this off. So uh, let's put 20 shulker boxes into this system here. So 20 there. The way up the dropper vader here, and we have a one, we have a one to two splitter here. So uh, they will get splitted evenly in between both sides. So we should see 10 boxes here and 10 boxes here. Now the reason why it's not getting transferred into the hopper minecart right now is we have the hopper locking off. So you can control if you want to just input items into the system and not have it go off yet. So you have about 54 shulkers of um, buffer here before they get distributed into the uh, uh, shulker unloaders here. And we have two uh, hopper minecarts. The reason with the hopper minecarts is it's really reliable to get five into each one so that the hopper minecart only gets on off if it has five slots filled of shulker boxes. So once we get five shulker boxes into the system or into the minecart here, then it'll go off and it can't take any more or less. So it's, it's a filled hopper minecart and we goes over five hoppers here, which it evenly distributes on both sides. So that's the way I got to run that to make it very much very reliable so the hopper minecart will not go off with four or anything less than five so uh yeah and then obviously we have some shulker unloaders here but we need them 2x speed we can't have 1x that won't make sense we do do have to do a, a 20 shulker box unloaders then which would just make the system very bulky so we have these special 2x loaders here um so the hopper minecart is inside the uh observer here and um, it's on top of the other hopper here, so you get 2x into each chest. So this is a bit of a hopper mess back here, but uh, with the current layout I had here, it works. So uh, yeah. Uh, then we have the output. So as I said, we have two of the crafters here, so we get 18,000 blocks an hour as the output. And for the shulker loader here, we have a mixed box loader. So doesn't detect the fill level of the shulker box, it detects the fill level of the dropper above the shulker box. So once an item gets into here, uh, they lock the hopper up top, and then it's on a shulker box, and then fill it once this uh, gets unpowered. And yeah, it's one wide, I think I'm pretty sure it's one wide, it's high level, but we don't need tie level. This is the perfect speed for what we need. This is a 2x loader, we have two hoppers, Basically 9,000 and 9,000, that's going to handle 18,000. That perfectly works out. And then, yeah, so that makes its way up to the top here. And then this is your output up here. You can put this to the chest if you want. I just feel like the barrels look better. So you have a chest up here. Um, you can see through it a little bit. So maybe you can do that. You can save on some hoppers like this. But, uh, yeah, I like the barrels a little bit better. But personal preference. So uh, yeah, this is a pretty much the crafter here. We have an on-off switch for both ones. You can, you can control if you want one crafter to go or both. Either way, it's about well, one ms when it's running. So only when it's running is your shulker boxes are getting unloaded. That'll be the reason why it probably peaks at two uh, ms. But other than that, when it's running by itself, there's no shulker boxes that get unloaded. It's around two or one to two ms, which is pretty quite good for getting eighteen thousand uh, blocks out of it. So yeah, useful for you have a bunch of um, gold nuggets from your gold farm, or iron from your iron farm, 
but getting 162,000 iron an hour to keep up with this system is not going to be very easy or lag friendly at all. Uh, yeah, because if you have a, don't have a constant uh, like flow of items, it will break because it'll just dispense. It only dispense uh, not enough to complete it, and you'll just keep getting the, the original item into the shulker boxes here. And I'm going to look mix shulker box loader instead of like a filter on top, just because this has multiple use cases. So let's say the shulker box isn't filled here, and you switch recipes. So you go from gold to let's say iron or something like that or something that requires other things like emerald blocks, stuff like that, this mixed box loader will still be able to be reused and it will, you won't need like a bunch of shulker loaders for each individual item you want to use. So that's better if I go on the mixed box loader here. So, uh, yeah. Uh, not much to talk about. Um, yeah, your uh, shulker box return is right here, like I said, and then your shulker box input for the shulker box loader here is on either side. It only is one shulker box, but there is two inputs if you uh, need more than a bunch of space here. Uh, but yeah. All in all, quite proud of the system. It's only 10 wide, which is really, really cool to me, and it's actually not that long at all. Pretty happy with this design. It's at 18,000 blocks an hour. Definitely useful for gold farms, where you get a bunch of gold nuggets. Uh, I'm trying to think of any other spot it could be useful. If you have a bunch of like leftover iron from your iron farm, I wouldn't look it up directly to the iron farm. I would have its own crafting station like this. Uh, the UI there, so you can just dump a whole bunch of shulker boxes of iron into it. And yeah, I guess redstone from your, your raider farm, you have a bunch of that piled up also be useful for regular prismarine bricks that's also something else there that i was scrolling through and saw um, but honestly other than that it doesn't have very many use cases but uh, for those farms that have high output or you have a big stockpile of items that you want to uh, condense into block form whether that's iron gold coal most within farm or ah, pretty much the only useful case i can see for this but yeah, um, all in all, still quite happy with the system. Uh, a lot of features within this small area. So uh, yeah, also has this indicator if your shulker box uh, return here is getting filled. The two signal strength here, you could make it um, sort of do a little bit closer. But uh, if you have any more than you know, like 200, so basically 500 shulker boxes, 400 shulker boxes into the system, then I don't know. But yeah, each shulker on loader can hold uh, before it gets backed up around about 32 uh, shulkers, so that'll give you quite a bit of crafting space to work with. But you could obviously extend that a little bit more by just putting it right within this barrel with a chest here so you have double the amount of space. I'm not going to go with the barrel. Uh, don't know why I did, but you could also just put a chest here and double your space uh, per crafter as well. Uh, instead, if you wanted to, just replace it like that. But I want the barrel. But uh, yeah. Oh no. Like I said, doesn't happen to this system here. And how to get the, the, the schematic will be in the description down below. And yeah. So I. Uh, do it. Make sure you like, subscribe, all those sorts of things, and I'll see you in the next one.